Here we have a linear inequality with two variables. Uh, y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. This may look a little bit confusing, but it's actually almost exactly the same process as we used before when graphing equalities, uh, the, which we're going to straight line in this case, y equals 2x minus 3. And in fact, we're going to start there. So let's take a look at this as if it were the equation y equals 2x minus 3. If it, was, if it were an equation, we'd already have it in y equals mx plus b form, so we'd know that the slope is m, which is 2, and that b, the y-intercept, is negative 3. So we'd know that there was a point at y equals negative 3, and that the slope is 2, which is rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1, or drop 2, go back 1, drop to go back one. So we can see that the line would be right there. Let's draw that line in actually real quick. My line two. So the line y equals 2x minus 3 is right there. Then the only difference here is that y is greater than or equal to that. So y can either be any one of these points or it could be something bigger than that point at that same location. So for instance here y can either be 2, or it could be 3, or 4, or 5, or anything bigger. Here, y can be negative 1, or it can be 0, or 1, or 2, or anything bigger. And you can see that anywhere along the way, we really have a point, and then we have all the values above it. So what we need to do is graph the line, y equals 2x minus 3, and then we shade everything above or to the left of that line to show that all these other numbers over here are included in that inequality. To graph this inequality, the first thing we want to do is put it into y equals mx plus b form, which means we need to solve it for y. So let's just rewrite it over here. 5x minus 5x, there we go, minus 2y is greater than 4. So first we'll subtract 5x from both sides x's will cancel, negative 2y is greater than 4 minus 5x, divide everything by negative 2, and don't, don't forget when we divide by a negative, if we're using an inequality, we have to switch the sign. So our y will be less than negative 2 plus 5 halves x, and we'll rewrite the order of this so we have mx plus b, and we'll have y is less than 5 halves x minus 2. So now we have our line and we have our y-intercept and our slope. So we know that there's a point at negative 2 and that our slope is rise 5 run 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. There's a point right here. Or down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back 2. So another point about here. And now here, this one's a little different than the last one because this is greater than or less than, there's no equal to. So when we draw this line and we need to draw it dashed, which means I get to do it by hand, isn't that lovely? There we go. So we have a dashed line, and now y is anything less than that. So at any one of these points along the way, y can be that up as close as we want up to that point, although it can't actually be that point because of the dash, but it could be that or anything smaller. So anything down here, or from here, anything down here, and so on. So what we do then is shade on the lower side of the line that we just drew.